Hello and welcome to another C Sharp programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about a new feature that was added in C Sharp 7.0. It is called the Ref Return. It allows you to return a reference from a method. Using a Ref Return, we'll, you do have some restrictions in this regard. You can only return those entities that you pass originally into the body of the method. So if there was a local variable in the method, you cannot return its reference back to the caller. In this program, which has now been written without a returning a reference from a method approach, see what this program does, and then I'll talk to you what I want to do, and I'm going to change things around so that the program will going to behave the way I want it to behave. Now, if you look at this program, the way I wrote it, I have an array of colors. Before I make a call to the method, I'm displaying all the colors. So I'm going to display red, green, blue, orange. Then I make a call to a method, receiver method. I pass orange and I pass all the colors. Inside the body of this method, I'm receiving all the colors in the colors array and the search color, which is orange, inside the string. I have a loop. Outside of the loop, I declared a couple of variables, position and x. x is initialized to 0. This will going to be my counter. And position is equals to negative 1, which will tell me the position on which the value is found in an array. We are not using any try-catch block in this example. So in case of the position stays negative 1, how to handle the errors. We're not doing any of that here. We're rather concentrating solely on returning a reference from a method. So now we are returning. We're running through this array. Uh, checking one value at a time, if the color in hand, which is stored in the color from the colors array, equals the search color, which is being passed from the main, then the value of x, whatever it is, gets stored in the position you break out of the loop because you found what you're looking for. And if not, then you increment the value of x and you keep going like this. Outside, I'm just displaying the position's value for testing purpose. I can comment this out. We don't really need to do that. Upon returning, I'm returning the color along at the position number where it was found back to the caller. So in case, you know, because we don't have a try-catch block, all this program will do, it will return the color that it found in the list back to the main on line number 13, which will then going to store it inside found. Now, if the found equals orange, that will be the case when the color is found in the list, then I want the value found to be changed to found. Otherwise, I want to just stay at the value of orange. And when I do this, I want these things to actually take effect in the array. I want the position of orange, where the orange is in the array, to be changed to the value found, if it is found in the array. If it is not found on the array, then I, must, I want it to stay orange. We know that orange is in the array. When we run this program, you can see before and after call, that before call, red, green, blue, orange, after call, still red, green, blue, orange. Even though orange is in the list, it stayed at as orange. What returning a reference from a method does that method can actually pass back a memory location where the value is found in the array. So the variable found, instead of having a value back, will actually get the memory location of where the orange is found and then can go and make changes on that memory. So that's exactly what we'll be doing in this example. There are a few points in the program where, ha where you have to write the ref pointer. Two places on the call, you first of all need to tell that this method will actually send a reference back. And the guy who is the receiver is also to be told that he will receive a reference, not a value. Then down in the method call, where you have private, static, return type, between the static and the return type, again, you will say, this method will pass a string reference back, not just a string value, a string reference back. 
So actually pass back a memory location. Therefore, in the return statement, you also need to mention that what you will be passing is not a value, but a memory location. So now what happens, everything will stay the same. Line number 37 will not return the value found in the colors at that position. We'll rather return the memory location over here on line 13, which will then be assigned to found. So if found matches orange, then the value found will be changed to found. Since found and orange are basically in the same location, therefore any change made to found will also change orange. Let's test this. As you can see over here in the output that the first call, the before call, it is red, green, blue, and orange. And after call, it became red, green, blue, and found. You can do this with ints, doubles, floats, any of these types, and it works exactly the same way. A cool feature in C-sharp programming. Thank you for watching. Have a great one.